Okay, so this is 2008-9372, paper 2, question 4. Okay, so here says um, Daisy and Maisie each run their own small retail business. They are good friends and have decided to operate their businesses in partnership. They have each made up their accounts to 31 um, March 2008 and... These are given below. So this is Daisy and this is Maisie. Okay, no, now see what the question is asking. The question says, calculate the partnership profit for the six months ended 31 March 2008. And the re uh, B, calculate the revised capital of each partner at 1 October 2007. C, calculate the bank cash position at 31st at 30th September 2008 and D, prepare a profit and loss account for the six months ended 30 September 2008 and the balance sheet at that date showing capital accounts for of uh, each of the partner. Okay, so now, so now um, we see cal calculate partnership profit for the six months ended 31 March 2008. So so now now see so they here says they have each made up made up their accounts to thirty first March two thousand eight, and are given as below. Okay, so this one ten months ended thirty first March, and this one eight months ended thirty first March. So, um, okay, so they have made made up the accounts. So here says Daisy and Maisie agree to backdate the start of their partnership to 1 October 2007 and to prepare their first accounts for the year ended 30 September 2008. Okay, so now um, part A of the questions. So that means the partnership, so that means the partnership began on 1 October 2007. 1 October 2007. So part A of the question says calculate the partnership profit. Calculate the partnership profit for the six months ended 31st March 2008. So that means the partnership began, okay? The partnership started on 1 October 2007. So we calculate October, November, December, January, February, March. So that means Part A of the question says calculate the partnership profit for the six months. For the six months ended 31st March 2008. So six months, that means it will be from 1 October 2007. That means the, the beginning of the partnership until 31st March 2008. So, so the partnership begins on 1 October 2007. And to prepare the first accounts for the year ended 30 September 2008. Okay, profits during um, 1 October 2007 to 31st March 2008 are deemed to have accrued evenly on a monthly basis. Drawings were also made in equal amount. So that means what is this question? Uh, so, so are you able to grasp what is this question really talking about. So they are saying that these two friends, Daisy and Maisie, agree to merge their individual business. And the the, the merging, I mean the, the forming of the partnership is taken to begin. Um, the, that means the beginning of the partnership is 1 October 2007. But they two seems like they, they don't really know how to do accounts. They, they are not, um, they, they don't really know how to do a partnership accounts. Okay, so they each have uh, individually done their own account. So this one, Daisy has um, done her, her accounts 10 months ending 31st March 2008. And this Maisie is uh, 8 months ending 31st March 2008. So this is their net profit, less drawings. So and um, it is assumed that, that their profits and drawings and everything accrue. I mean, it's uh, accrue evenly. Uh, for all, all the months, okay, every month the profit and the drawings is assumed to be the same. And and so is Maisie. So now we have so-called, have an idea of um, what is this about. So that means we are supposed to do for them uh, the partnership profit, partnership profit from 1 October 2007 to 31st March 
2008. So, so now you look at your question paper, the DAISY account 10 months. Okay, DAISY's net profit is 26, 21,000. 21,000 for, for 10 months. Okay, 10 months profit. So that means um, 10 months ending 31st March 2008. So, so now we are supposed to do the, calculate the partnership profit from 1 October to 31st March 2008. So when you look at the question paper that 21,000 under DAISY is for 10 months profit. So, so 21,000 is for 10 months profit. So I, 6 months profit will be 21,000 times 6 over 10. So DAISY's net profit for, for this period, this 6 months will be 12,600. Then Maisie, Maisie's, um, under Maisie's is 8 months. 8 months, Maisie's 8 months net profit is 16,000. So what is 6 months profit? It will be 16,000 times 6 over 8. So it will be 12,000. So partnership profit for the 6 months ending 31st March 2008 will be 24,600. Okay, so um, again, um, some of these things you you may not want to write, so um, I think it's okay. But uh, for me, I want to be to be safe, so I I'm just writing my assumption, um, just to be safe. Some some of you may not write, so so I'm assuming that the net profit of Daisy and Maisie given in the question is after deducting depreciation and loan interest. I, I I'm a bit long winded, and I just want to be double safe. Um, so I write whatever assumption that I think some of you may not write and I think you, sh you should be okay with that. Okay, part B says calculate the revised capital of each partner at 1 October 2007. So, so um, this is the question, okay. So these are the balances at 31 March 2008. So these are their capital. So now... Because the partnership started on 1 October 2007. So, um, you are supposed to calculate for them what is the partnership capital at 1 October 2007. So, um, you'll be a bit stressed by now. So, so this one, I, I can sort of um, work it backwards. So, if you look at the question balance sheet at 31 March 2008. Okay. So, is here the... The capital at the 1st October 2007, capital at the beginning of the period, at net profit for the 6 months, okay, the, at the net profit, the prorated net profit for the 6 months, minus the drawings for the 6 months will be equals to the capital at the end of the 6 months. End of the 6 months means capital at 31 October um, 2008, which is given in the question. Okay. So this one capital at 1 October 2007, I put here bracket balancing figure and I leave it blank first. I, I don't know what is the figure, I leave it blank. Uh, this is what I want to calculate. So I'm trying to leave it blank, but I have all the other numbers. So later I can just calculate the missing figures, okay? So capital at the end of the year. So you know that capital at the beginning of the year, at net profit for that period, I mean, capital at the beginning of the period, at net profit for the period, minus drawings for that period will become the capital at the end of the period. Capital at the end of the period is given in the question, 3, 4, uh, 500, and uh, Maisie will be for, um, 40,000 is given in the question. Drawings, okay, you look at the question. Drawings for 10 months for Maisie is... 12,000. So the drawings for the six months will be 12,000 times 6 over 10. Okay, then um, they, Maisie also, the drawings for for six months, I mean drawings for eight months is 12,000. So drawings for six months will be 6 over 8. Okay, then net profit uh, for six months for Daisy and Maisie is calculated here. So I just slot in the figures. So I have this figure, I have this figure, I have this figure. So I... This will be my balancing figure. So, um, so a lot of you have studied mathematics. So you you put this as an imaginary x. Okay, this is assuming this is x. Okay, so x plus twelve thousand six hundred minus seven thousand two equals three four five hundred. So what it what is, what is x? So you, you imagine this one is x. So this one will be equals to three four five hundred plus seven thousand two minus twelve thousand six 
will be equals to 29100. So this is how you get this um, figure. So same here. So this one will be 40,000 plus 9,000 minus 12,000, you get 37,000. So, so straight away, from here, I solve it with my calculator and I put a number here. Okay, so this is um, the capital at 1st October 2007, okay, which I calculated here. Okay, capital accounts at 1st October 2007. Okay, but this is not the... Um, this is not just the answer. Okay, you see additional information number two. The agreed value of goodwill. So that means just now I am going backwards to calculate what was the original capital for Daisy and Maisie at 1st October 2007 according to their individual accounts. Okay. So that means at 1st October 2007, at the start of the partnership, um, good views for Daisy is 10,000 and Maisie is 15,000. Okay. So, so you see the two partners, um, may not agree. So previously I've explained about good view quite thoroughly. So Daisy and Maisie, two partners may not agree to merge if one comp, one of the business is more, um establish than the other one okay for for example we give a very clear cut example like um kfc kentucky fried chicken um and then an ali fried chicken okay ali fried chicken is um it is something that not established uh, nobody knows what is ali fried chicken kfc is a very established business so you think that if ali fried chicken ali go and approach kfc you think KFC will agree to merge with Ali? Just like that? I think unlikely because, because KFC will think that, oh, we are so established. Why should we merge with you and end up um, sharing our profit with, with you when we have put in so much to build up our reputation and, um, and train up our employees and... Uh, and now we have so much regular customer and our brand name is so wide known. So why should we merge with a, a so-called a, a much lesser company like you? But the thing is, if you put a uh, um, value of their goodwill to, to KFC, let's say KFC um, put a value of their goodwill to their capital account at the start of the merging, and Ali agree to to this to this um, goodwill um, attributed to KFC. Then, then they will agree to merge. Okay, so so same here. You see, Daisy will have will, will thinks that um, they they have to discuss and and they they would think that it's not fair for them to just merge because one one business is more established than the other one. So they each. Um, discuss and they have come to an agreement that Maisie, um, Maisie's good view will be 15,000 because Maisie's uh, business is more established than Daisy. So Daisy uh, put a good view as 10,000 and both of them agree with, with these figures. Okay, so this good view will be added to their capital account at the start of the partnership okay so capital this is the original capital for for daisy and Maisie at the good view that they have discussed and agreed upon will be added to their to their capital and this will be the revised capital at 1 october 2007 so i've answered the question calculate the revised capital of each partner at 1 october 2007 Okay, so I put here already. Then calculate the bank cash position, bank or cash position at 30 September 2000, 2008. Okay, so calculate the um, cash and bank position. Um, so, so what is the last figure of the cash and bank position that we have? So this is the balance sheet at 31 March 2008. So you see here, bank and, and this is a bank overdraft. Okay, bank and... and so that means this is the... Um, latest um, bank figure that we have and these are the um, uh, six months 
transaction for the six months ended 30 September 2008. Six months, so that means um, six months means from the, from one April to 30 September 2008. That is six months. Okay, so so this is the this is the bank figure at the beginning of the six months, and this is the transaction for the six months. So now I got I got it already. So so the net um, bank overdraft figure. So the uh, Maisie's bank overdraft is um, eleven thousand, and and Daisy's um, bank figure is six thousand. So this is a net bank overdraft figure at the beginning of the period. So um, here I put add receipt, or just put receipt colon, and then leave some space. Then I put payment colon. Then this will be my bank balance at thirty September two thousand eight. So I draw two lines. Okay, so I put two columns. So that means all the subtotal here the here I put the numbers, then I subtotal, I put outside. Okay, receipts and payment. <clears throat> so so under number four, additional number four in the question. In the question, so um it says that sales all cash 447. So that means sales is a receipt, uh, all cash. So 447. Okay, then payment cash purchases. Um uh, Purchases bought for cash fifty four thousand is given in that uh, additional note number four, and then refund, refund on, refund made on sales twenty three thousand is also in the question there. Okay, so you see sales return back at refund made. Okay, operating expenses paid. Uh, operating expenses, okay, is ninety one thousand ninety nine thousand ninety nine thousand right. Okay, then um purchase of when thirty six thousand interest paid three thousand okay payment to creditors okay this one wait first uh, um okay drawings drawings is also payment to for for the company it is is a payment okay so um so drawings how do I get the drawings figure drawings figure is actually i i i get i gotten from here. Okay, so this is for the six months drawing, seven thousand two and nine thousand. Okay. Okay, seven thousand two plus nine thousand is sixteen thousand two hundred. Okay, so so this is um okay, so then then you see in the question is it is it in the question in the question you have sales or cash, okay? Then you have purchases bought for cash, then you have purchases bought on credit. This is credit purchases, credit purchases. So you must find out what is the payment to creditors. What is the payment to creditors? You see, at the end of the the, the September, thirty September two thousand eight, creditor for purchase eighty nine thousand. Okay, so this one is a purchases bought on credit. It doesn't mean that your payment to creditors. Okay, purchase you you have buy goods on credit, so. So I must find out what is my um payment to creditors. What is my payment to creditors figure? Okay, under under um you see at the beginning of the period, thirty first March two thousand eight, the creditors is eighteen thousand plus sixteen thousand. Okay, eighteen thousand plus sixteen thousand. Okay, plus. Plus, this is the um, this is the purchases bought on credit. So, so that means in total. So that means you use your calculator to count in total how much they should have owed their creditors if no payment was made. So you take uh, eighteen thousand. You can just put eighteen thousand uh, plus sixteen minus two five. Uh, I mean, sorry. So you count again eighteen plus sixteen. Plus two hundred and fifty eight plus two five eight will be equals to two hundred and ninety two. Okay, so now you assume that no payment was made to creditors. No payment was made to creditors. They would have owed the creditors how much? So if they have not paid any money to their creditors, to their credit suppliers, how much would they have? How much would this partnership have owed the creditors? 
but that will be eighteen thousand plus sixteen thousand. This is uh, the creditor balance at thirty at the beginning of the six months, thirty first March, plus two five eight will be equals to two nine two. So that means assuming um no money was paid to their credit suppliers or creditors, the amount owed to creditors would have been two five two two nine two. But at the end of the um, six months, they only owe their creditor eighty nine thousand. So that means how much have they paid to the creditors? That will be 292 minus 89. That will be equals to 203,000. Okay. So so now um so now um, look here. So 18 plus 16 was what they owed to their creditors at the beginning of the period. Plus this is their credit um credit purchase that they buy during these six months um, okay minus the balance owed to the creditors at the end of the six months is 89 so so assuming that um assuming that no money was i, I mean so so that means the payment to creditors during the this six months is 18 plus 16 plus 258 minus 89 and and minus minus the discount received from suppliers, uh, which is six thousand. So that means, uh, assuming that again, assuming that no payment was made to the suppliers during to their credit suppliers in this in these six months, the the amount owed to the creditors would have been eighteen plus sixteen plus two five eight minus six, okay, minus six. But the at the end of the six months, they only owe their credit purchases, credit suppliers for of eighty nine thousand for eighty nine thousand. So that means payment to creditors would have been um that number minus eighty nine. Okay, that will be one hundred and ninety seven. Okay, drawings I've explained already. All these I've explained. So you add up all the payments. Okay, this is the figure. So the um net bank overdraft figure at the at the beginning of the six months, which is 31st March 2008, add receipt minus payment. This will be the bank balance at 30 September 2000, 2008. So then, then part D, prepare a profit and loss account and a, and a balance sheet at that date showing capital accounts of each partner. That is part D. So profit and loss account for the six months ended 30 September 2008. Okay. And a balance sheet. At thirty September two thousand two thousand and eight, so then you capital Daisy and Maisie is um already capital Daisy and Maisie thirty nine one hundred and fifty two thousand is is actually is actually copied from part A, and then you can lay out um you can lay out your 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 question first you can lay out a question so intangible asset goodwill is under note 2 of the question 10000 and 15000 so it's 25000 okay current asset current asset um uh, stock and bank is okay bank is um bank is under i have um got it i have calculated under part c 13800 bank it uh, i mean uh, okay stock stock 75000 is from note 5 Okay, then then um what are other things? So accumulated depreciation. Under note five or so you have um the the depreciation. Okay, depreciation. So so that this one accumulated depreciation is got from got from note five. Okay, fixture fixture and fittings. Uh fixture and fittings. So under note four you have purchase of motor van thirty thirty six thousand. 36,000 over here. So fixture and fittings, fixture and fittings is, I added, um, you see on the top there, a balance sheet at 31st March 2008, 45 and 72, add together is, uh, is 1116. One, one, one. So I tidy up my fixed asset, this one minus this one is the here, then this one minus this one will be this one, so I get this figure. So long-term loan is also gotten from a question, balance sheet at 31st March 2008, Okay, long term loan. Um, you add up both together, both both figures, fifteen thousand and twenty four. You get thirty nine thousand. Okay, then then current liability creditors, creditors eighty nine thousand is gotten from note five. Accrued loan interest is gotten from note five also. So, 
So um, over here, I will, I will tidy up, tidy up this one. So I left with a current account, Daisy and Maisie. Then um, I, I hold on first. Okay, so profit and loss account for a six months ended 30 September 2008. So sales are all cash sales. I got this figure from note four of, of the question. Less sales return also from note four. So I get net sales. Cost of, cost of goods sold. Opening stock, uh, I, got, I got from this, this one, balance sheet. You see, I'm referring to here. Uh, opening stock is from here. This one plus, plus this one. So, so my opening stock figure, 16,500 plus 19,000 got from the balance sheet of uh, Daisy and Maisie at the 31st first March 2008. Then purchases is gotten from note 4 of the question plus, plus 54. Bought on, this one is um, purchases, how much goods they have bought, 258 plus 54. Then closing stock. 75,000 is gotten from note 5 of the question. So, so I got my cost of sales. So net sales minus cost of sales, I got gross profit. Discount received also got from note five, 4, note 4 of the question. Expenses, um, depreci depreciation. Depreciation, I got, no, got it from note 5 of the question. Okay. Uh, loan interest, loan, loan interest, you see, in note four, interest paid on loan is three thousand, and note five accrued loan interest. So the interest paid is three thousand plus the interest that is uh, accrued. That means incurred accrued loan interest. That means incurred but not paid is one thousand. So three thousand from note four and one thousand from note five. So loan interest expense is four thousand. Operating expense. Operating expenses is gotten from note 4 of the question. So I add together, I get this. Then the net profit will be this one plus this one minus this. So I get my net profit. Okay, then here I will do my... The question... Um, note, part D of the question says prepare the profit and loss account. So so prepare the profit and loss account, that means up to net profit. But I do my appropriation also. Because without that, uh, it's very difficult for me to do my balance sheet. So interest on capital, okay, interest on, on capital under note 3 of the question, okay, um, it says that uh, after allowing 10% interest on capital account balance. So note 3 of the question, uh, additional information 3 of the question say interest on capital is supposed to be 10%. So the capital under part A we have calculated is so much, so 10% of this would be 3910 and 5002. So this is my total um, interest on capital. So this one minus this one, the profit available for operation will be so much. So the, the question says that the profit shall be shared equally under additional information number three. They say the partner agree to share profit and loss equally. Okay, so this is the share of profit. Okay, so, so you see under, in the balance sheet of the partners, um, okay, the partnership started on 1 October 2007. That means, that means um, the, the profit due to the partner would be accrued to the partner's uh, current account from 1 October 2007 onwards. So the partnership profit for the six months uh, from 1 October 2007 to 31st March 2008 is 24600 and profits are to be shared equally okay so 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 that means 24600 divided by 2 would be credited that means will be accumulated into each of the partnership current account so this one will be will be added to their current account 24600 divided by 2 and for the 6 months um, for the first six months of the partnership, that means from from one October two thousand seven to thirty first March two thousand eight, the partnership drawings is seven thousand two and nine thousand. So so that will be deducted. That will be deducted um, from their current account. Okay, minus from the current current account. Okay, then this 3910 and 520 would be credited to, that means credited, that means added to the current account. Okay, 3910. 
And this 7195 is the partnership profit for the six months. That means this is this is for the subsequent six months. Subsequent six months, that means from 1st April 2008 to 30th September 2008, uh, 7195 each will be credited. That means added to their to their current account. And also, you see, I have to minus 7002 twice for DAISY. Because this 7002 is the drawings for the first six months from 1... Um, 1 October 2007 to 31st March 2008. And this is the another 7,002 from 1 April 2008 to 30 September 2008. Okay, so that's why I minus 7,002 twice because the 7,002 is the drawings for six months, for the first six months, and this is the drawings for the second six months. And, and so is this 9,000 for the drawings for the first six months and 9,000 for the drawings for for the second six months okay for from 1 april 2008 to 30 september 2008 so when i solve this equation i get the current account balance for daisy and current account balance for maisy so that's how i got all i gotten all the figures um so so i have uh, completed the whole of this question already so then i continue i will continue in the next in the next uh video okay thanks